The Reserve Bank has kept interest rates on hold today, but it has started the process of winding back the pandemic stimulus. Borrowing costs are set to increase, but that's not slowing down the housing market. Taryn Hendry has been trying to buy her first home for more than a year. In that time, property prices in Brisbane have gone up 30%. It's been pretty disheartening, you know, going to many auctions and open homes and just feeling like we're just not in the right price range, even though we thought we were. She wants to see interest rates rise to help cool the market. We're hoping that the you know, if the interest rates do go up, maybe there's a chance for us to get into the market, but then it adds the factor of, well, can we service the loan when that does happen? Nationally, home prices have risen more than 22% in the past 12 months. In January, values grew more than expected at 1.1%, with a small but surprising pick-up in Sydney and Melbourne, and large gains in regional areas Adelaide and Brisbane. We've got three capital cities now where typical house prices are a million dollars or more and growth rates just can't be sustained at the high levels that they were in 2021. The governor agrees, saying housing prices have risen strongly, but that it's important lending standards are maintained and borrowers have adequate buffers. While the RBA is keeping the official cash rate on hold, it has taken a momentous step. It'll end its $350 billion bond buying program, which has kept borrowing costs low. But it's emphasised that doesn't mean a rate rise is imminent. I think as we go through the second half of this year, we should expect to see uh, a few rate rises on our forecast profile. The cash rate will be at 0.75% by the end of this year. The nation's biggest lender expects the central bank will start lifting rates in August this year. Rachel Papazzoni, ABC News.